everything was fine on Monday, Wolf. We were calm. And then my son looked out the window and he said, Mom, Dad, do you see all this water? My 11-year-old. And we looked and I walked out the door and, Wolf, it was like I was at the beach. The water was coming down like a tidal wave. I could not believe it. And my husband like, oh, my God, we got to get out. We have three dogs. So we all grabbed a dog. My son left in his pajamas. We got to our car, which is just down in our driveway. The water was up to the tires. So we ran to a neighbor, and then we went to my mother's, who had power. And uh, we came back the next morning, and my whole basement, the water went up to the ceiling. My refrigerator was floating. How a refrigerator floats is beyond me. But coming back, the devastation in my neighborhood was unbelievable. There were people's furnaces on other people's lawns. We saw uh, ice chests from, like, stores that they keep ice on people's lawns. Uh, trees down, out with power. Um, just total, total devastation. Never in my life. I, I live a mile from the beach. How did that water get to my house? I, it's, to me, it, I think it was a tsunami. Can your house, Michelle, be, be uh, salvaged now? Uh, what do you need to, to be able to move back in there? Well, we are definitely not ready to move in. It's, uh, it was sewer water, and it was the ocean water, salt water. So salt water has destroyed all our electrical. We have to have all that redone. Um, my house has no power. We can't even turn the power. If we were got power back, we can't even turn it on because it, it's contaminated. Um, we right now have uh, some missionaries from my church are here. I have about 40 people helping us just clear out stuff. Uh, my son slept down there. That was his room. He lost everything. I just found his baby book, and I started hysterical crying. Um, but we lost everything, Wolf. And uh, they're helping us take down the drywall, the uh, you know, all the insulation, because it's all contaminated. We had a koi pond in my backyard. All the fish are dead. Um, the, it went up to my have a four foot above ground pool. The water went up to three and a half feet. We have the water line on the pool. Has anybody uh, from FEMA or any of the authorities been around there? National Guard? Uh, no National Guard. Um, we are above the boulevard, below the boulevard. Uh, Wolf. People have lost their homes. There is nothing left. They have found bodies down my block. So I know the devastation there is a lot worse. Um, we're lucky we got out alive. Um, my car, we couldn't get my second car out. That's totally gone. You could look in and you could see water in the cup holders. Um, we got in touch with FEMA. The guy was going to come last night. He could not get on to Staten Island. Uh, traffic is horrific. Besides uh, the down lights, they have trees everywhere and floods. FEMA is supposed to come tomorrow. Uh, we, we called all the insurance people, um, as, you know, what, as much we could do on our end. Our, our reporter, Brian Todd, does tell us that the American Red Cross is on the scene. Have you seen them on Staten I Island? Have, no, I have not seen the Red Cross. Uh, but like I said, I'm not in. We got flooded out, but there are people that have lost their homes and uh, they, there's nothing left. There are people who have lost. Lives. There are people who have lost their lives, in, including two boys whose bodies were found That's today. Exactly. Are you, you're, exactly. Fami you're familiar with what uh, the, the, not only the devastation but the death, especially the on death. Staten Island. Who were you at all prepared for what happened there? Did anyone not give you all, a, an indication this was about to unfold? Not at not at all. We are not even in an evacuation zone. We are zone B, and we were not told of anything. We just. In fact, it was so calm, Wolf. I said to my husband, I think I'm going to go to bed. It was so calm, just a little wind. All of a sudden, if my 11-year-old didn't look out the window, we would not have known until the water started coming up. You're but he said, you're, Mommy, look at the water. Yeah. Uh, your, congressman, have, your congressman, Michael Grimm, has described Staten Island right now, in his words, as a, a mini Katrina. Uh, is that your sense as well? Katrina, yes. A mini Katrina. I know, how, I know how those people in Katrina feel. I really do. I, I always, my heart went out to them. But until you go through something like this, you cannot understand the magnitude of this. My friends have come to help me. They said, Michelle, we looked at your yard because we have all the stuff in the yard. They said, Michelle, if we didn't see this with our own eyes, we would never believe it. 
and it's hard to know when power will be restored. Mayor Bloomberg said uh, the ferry service will resume in the next day or so. He says full service by Saturday, uh, the ferry from Staten Island over to Manhattan and New York. But uh, who knows uh, what's going to happen. Uh, our heart, I, I our heart goes out to you, Michelle, and your thank family. Thank you so much. Uh, thank I'm you. a big fan of yours, Wolf, thank and uh, you. it's a pleasure to speak with you. And, you know, I have to put it in perspective. We have our lives, and I have my children, and, you know, it's just stuff like my kids say. But, you know, when I find my son's baby book, it rips at your heartstrings. But uh, I'm grateful that we're here. Yeah, and uh, you, I like your attitude. Uh, you got to take a look at the positive side, even though you've lost a lot of physical exactly. possessions. You have your family. You have your That's health. That's right. And you know what? And you and everyone else, you will come back uh, out of this misery. We will, Wolf. I'm a breast cancer survivor two years, and I know God will help me and help us get through this. And God bless you and all the people that are suffering right now. My heart and prayers go to 